All right, everybody, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you out there and just like me. Um, got some pointing going on. Nobody can see it yet, though. All right, guys, oh. go ahead. There they are. All right, uh, I've got a special guest on the show today. They're having a good time in San Antonio, Texas. The number one band on the Texas country music charts right now, Kin Fo. How's it going, Kin Fo? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Go around the room. I well, uh, already had um, practice doing this, so you guys are keeping it. Um, I'm Jake. I play guitar and sing. Jake. I'm Rico. I play fiddle and I sing. Fiddle and, and sing. I'm Dan, and I play drums and do not sing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ross. I play bass, and I also sing. Nice. <laughs> and I said earlier, you can't really hear him probably back there, but this is our secret weapon back here, sound tech. Uh, Brian Phillips. Yeah. Yes, the secret weapon, the guy who holds it all together. So you guys are number one this week on the chart, like I said, uh, you got this song called Sunny and 72. And uh, how are you feeling about that song? That's uh, That's got to be pretty cool, huh? That was that was pretty, uh, pretty surreal, man. When we got the news um, hitting number one, uh, it feels really good. It feels really good. It was a song by our buddy David Lee. We, you know, we went into to, to his uh, to his house to listen to a catalog to see what songs he wanted to cut for this past album and uh, that one stuck out to us and we knew it was a very special song from the beginning and then we put it down and we were excited about it. I guess when I say special, it's because we were excited about it. Um, and then the people, we played it live and, and we had a good fun time, I think, right guys? I mean, it's a yeah. fun song. And so when, when it was on the radio going up, um, I know we, we were just blown away for the, from the support. Yeah, that, that and you, you drive around Texas, you turn on a radio and, and that's gotta be kind of surreal. Like hearing your music yes. flaring out of somebody yes. else's car, a truck, oh, or whatever. You're just like, hey, that's us. Is that happening? <laughs> it has happened. It's, it's, it's funny because uh, when we when we first when that song debuted here um, in San Antonio, um, our station uh, Y100 picked it up, and uh, and we got a, a little heads up that they were going to be playing it and debuting it. And uh, so I got like kind of like a little small listening party of my family, you know, just just our families. <laughs> And uh, we like blasted it in the garage and everything. It was so much fun. And like, it, it was just surreal, man, because it's a station I've grown up and I thought we're listening to to have our music on there. It's, it's pretty crazy. And I don't know. We're just, we're just humble. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's humbling. So you, you guys are from Texas. You're, you're number one in Texas. You guys are, are you shooting for the, for the Nashville thing or what's the story with that? Anywhere, everywhere. I think it goes hand in hand, man. Like, um, we always want to try to avoid the whole versus kind of thing, right? Like Nashville, Texas versus Texas kind of thing. Um, because because I think I think they need each other. I think they need each other. Um, Nashville is a good place to go record. Good for business, you know. And yeah, um, we actually do quite a bit of work in Nashville. Too. That's the thing, you know. We yeah. a lot of the artists you think that are just Texas, yeah. they reside in Nashville quite a bit of the time, you know, just because that's where the music mecca is almost. Um, yeah. Texas has its own thing. It's breathing, living and breathing. Living and breathing um, genre in itself, I think I would say um, you can tour Texas. You don't have to leave Texas, and you can tour Texas and make a living, right? Um, but I think as any artist that wants to grow, I think we all agree that we want to get out, and we're we're starting to. I mean, we have a good fan base up in the Midwest, um, and we're going to be going back out that way. We have a tour planned in June throughout. Uh, what do you call it? The middle. <laughs> Oklahoma, Kansas, Midwest. Nebraska, yeah, so Michigan. I mean, we're getting out, you know, and and yeah, to answer your question, um, like I said, I mean, you can't compare them both because they're two different animals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you guys don't look like the bro country band though. But I'm thinking, <laughs> um, with guys like Chris Stapleton out there, wait, wait, wait. you know, how about now? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. Not gonna do if it. That's all. <laughs> hey, so it, he's not gonna do it. <laughs> I don't have. A, I should have. I should have wore a hat. Um, <laughs> you guys know, but seriously, I mean, you got an authentic sound um, on your website. It says, "Hey, if you like Charlie Daniels, Alabama," and I'm thinking, where can I get more of this? You know, I mean, just. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of music that I grew up listening to, and so, I mean. I think we're we're kind of now maybe we're we're kind of reaching a tipping point. There seems to be kind of a trend back, hopefully, to more of a traditional country sound. And it doesn't really matter like what decade it's from. It's just got to be you know more down to earth. And with a name like Kinfo, I mean everybody's thinking uh, you guys are going to be the 
of carrying the torch, you know, for the for the <laughs> upcoming revival of uh, real country, right? Oh man, there's there's a lot of people doing it. I think. Would you say? Yeah. Well, yeah, I, you mentioned that you like you know '90s country, and I think most everybody does. But if you remember back to '90s country, because I <laughs> I, re I remember '90s country really well. <laughs> but um, that's what happened in the '90s, in my opinion, is uh, they there was a lot of Texas and Oklahoma artists that got moved from Texas and Oklahoma to Nashville. Garth Brooks, Reba, Toby yeah. Keith, you know, all of Tracy Bird, all those guys are Texas slash Oklahoma artists. And I think the same thing's happening now with Cody Johnson, Randall King, Cody Jinx, all those guys. So I think it's the same thing. It just goes in cycles and it's, it's back to where people are wanting that story song, like you mentioned. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. it's just the power of the twang. Like I like to say, it's just yeah, I want to hear. Behold my twang. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's, it's it's you know as much as as much as we like a click track, right, or some beats back there, which kind of freaks me out when I hear that in songs. I go, okay, I get it, Morgan Wallen. I get what you're doing, buddy. I understand, <laughs> but you know, part of me is just like, nah. nah. You know, and then I, I listen to stuff like Sunny in 72 and I'm just, it's kind of like you, you purge a little bit, you cleanse and you're back you to, can, uh, you know, of course you can just lot, put on man. some outlaw country and do that. I mean, there's so much of uh, this genre, you know, over the years, which is, is withstood the test of time, but it's good that you guys are shooting for, you know, bigger things. I, I'm, I'm guessing in Texas playing out live is a blast. It, it, it's got to oh, yeah, be yeah. a lot of fun, right? It, 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 there's, <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot of outdoor festivals and, and um, venues and um, dance halls. Um, it's so much fun. And the thing is, the people here in Texas consume live music a little bit different than any other part of the country. I hope I, hope I can say that because um, uh, I, I think they, they like the original kind of stuff. They like the, like you were talking more of the, um, the story stuff um you can kind of grow here a little bit as an artist if you want to if you want to pursue something yeah and a, and a big part of it too is that texas is still uh you can get on the radio <laughs> yeah um there's a lot of independent radio stations who will take a chance on an up-and-coming band and where nationally they, they might not take that chance you know unless you've got a million dollars oh did we lose you guys again all right hold on a second here all right so you guys are definitely like primed ready to go anybody you know wants to call you from a major record label you know they they they, they got the the airplane chartered for nashville you guys are going right that's the beauty of another thing called being independent you know um you have to be careful there's a line i don't want to be prideful but you want to be smart i guess um because if I think if you can get it done yourself as far as far as you can go, that's the best way as for for artists to do it nowadays. Um, we're self managed. We're self everything. Um, every one of us manages a part of the business, um, and I'm part of part of the the, the brand. And uh, and we're we don't necessarily need that big label push right now, but. Right, deal comes along. I think we'll be open, right? It would certainly help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it. Look, there's going to be a need for this. I can, I can sense it. And you guys are are positioned perfectly. You got the number one song this week. Last year, you guys worked with Jerry McBride from McBride and the Ride on this song called Wild Horses. That was really cool. <laughs> I just got to say, you know, I sound like Chris Farley a little bit. But that was really cool. That was awesome. <laughs> that, was, um, that was awesome. Yeah. Um, how did that? happen that's that's that had to give you guys a little visibility boost yeah um there is an amazing person yeah that, that's the reason why i mean i think it has to do with the people right because um with, with kinfo the name i, I know we, we, uh, it, it basically talks about being family and, and but not really right kin fo fake family we couldn't do fo and kin you know fo kin because it sounds <laughs> Too dangerous. It's a little dicey on radio. So You're gonna do this, it. yeah. Oh. It, it just as a former DJ, it's just I, I'm glad you went with Kinfo. I get, I, get, <laughs> you know, I understand yeah. that would have been like, okay, we could sign these guys, but we got to do something with his name, you know. <laughs> but um, uh, <laughs> no, but so we strive to create like a, a like I don't know, 
um, making people feel a part of something, inclusive to something, a family, a dysfunctional family. We always joke around. Um, and part of that is just growing with even outside of the fans is, is our is our is our people, like when it comes to writers and it comes to producers. And and uh, we've worked with David Lee, Jim Beavers, Bernie Nelson, and um we we're looking for songs for this last album, the Honky Tonk in Heaven album. Um, I'm sorry, the, the album before Honky Tonk in Heaven album. Um, Jim Jim pitched a song to us uh, called Wild Horses that was written with Terry McBride, and we loved it. And then we're like, "Who wrote on it?" He said, like, "Well, Terry McBride and myself." And we're like, "Let's cut it." No, no way! No way. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and he's gonna and he's gonna sing. He's gonna. There's a video. I've watched the video. Is great, by the way. It's just yeah. Great. So we went to their studio, and it was we recorded in Nashville over at Sony Tree, and uh, we talked to. Jim. And he said, hey, can you call Terry maybe to come down? He doesn't close to there, you know, close to there. And maybe check out what how the song's coming along. Or no, he agreed to come down, hang out, and then he ended up in a vocal booth. It was pretty cool. So that, that is very cool. All right. So um just because our internet connection is kind of it's kind of weak here. Um yeah. tell us where people can find your music. They wanna like get more information about you. Um, I'm assuming you guys are on Facebook, right? Or what's the deal? Yeah, we are everywhere. Facebook. <laughs> just look us up. I mean, if you just if you Google Kinfo, K I N F A U X. Yep. Um, you can find our you know our YouTube channel, our Spotify. You know, find our website, find our Facebook, all our yeah, social and everything. Yep. Right. Find and our, you guys schedule, online store. Yeah, I was gonna say you sell any merch because people yep. are gonna want some the online here. store. Huh? Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, make sure you patronize these guys. Um, they're really good. I've been listening to them for a couple of years. We finally connected. This is very cool that you guys came on the show. Um, obviously, best of luck uh, in the future. Uh, you know, if you guys make it big, you know, if you just pitch me you may be a pool or a small house somewhere in Texas. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll, that would be cool, you know, because at least, you know, I knew these guys and I had them on the show before anyone else did, although that's probably not true. But <laughs> I'm a classic it, rock. I'm a classic rock guy who grew up and switched over to country because in awesome. the 90s, because I just was fed up with the music. And now I'm starting to hear some great music out of uh, Texas. It, it makes me. You know, just want to keep keep up with you guys and keep up with what's going on over there. Thank you. It's very appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for your time, man. We appreciate right. you supporting. You guys are great. Best of luck. Very great. Thanks, buddy. All right.